Hello there guys, this is Novarma Joy here, and uh, even though it's been a long time since I've made my last Let's Play video, and I'm really sorry about that, actually it's been a long time since I've actually made a video at all, well I decided I'd make a video today, and uh, here we're going to be playing is Castlevania. I'm actually pretty actually pretty excited to be able to play this game, but uh, uh, the game is actually really, really hard, I've played it before so I know that. So I'm going to be using some save states and load states and stuff like that. So, uh, let's just get started with it. Oh, oops. Let's get started. One of the best intros in video game history. There's a lot of people who can actually recognize that intro just by seeing it because it's so. It's probably one of the most memorable intros in a video game history. Castlevania intro. Uh, ah, come on. There's actually a secret if you jump behind the door, then a sec then a secret thing appears. But I wasn't able to jump behind the door. <laughs> Be careful of those dog things, because they'll jump. So we're sort of running and jumping at you really fast. You have to be ready for them. I'm not sure why they put that uh, rosary thing there. I think that's what it's called, a rosary. Basically, it destroys all the enemies on screen, but I'm not sure why they put it there, like, right before a door, because it's, so there's no point in putting, the th putting it there, because you're right about to go through the door, and all the enemies disappear once you go through the door anyway. It's kind of pointless if you ask me, but whatever. You can find a, a pork chop in there. Yes, a pork chop. And it restores it restores a few bars of your health if you find it, so it's really valuable. Especially if you get hit like that. Ugh. A lot. A lot. I'm not doing very well. And I accidentally found a secret that I wasn't able to get. Wow. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Accidentally through the holy water. So that's basically what the holy water does. Once you throw a bottle of holy, you throw a bottle of the uh, holy water, and it breaks on the ground and uh, creates a fire that, 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 that basically it stops enemies from moving and damages them while they're in the fire. So it's a, it's really useful, especially against bosses. And there's a reason why they put an uh, axe right before you. For, well, it's because it's the best weapon to use against him. And uh, he's and he's dead already. It only takes eight axes to get rid of him. And uh, now that we've done that, that's the end of level one. He's actually a pretty easy boss, but if you don't have the axe, then he's a lot harder. And every time you beat a level, you get this map screen that shows how far you are in the game. And I'm surprised I actually and I actually didn't use any save states for this part, but I might use save states in the ne in the next uh, few stages because uh, as it gets harder and harder for each stage you complete, and it starts getting really hard from like stage three or four or something like that. I mean level three or four because uh, each level still up into three stages, but whatever. I'll see you guys in the next part. Alright, this is for now goodbye, folks.